Uh, April 16th. Right, so gyroscopes are spinning up, um, and they get all this angular momentum, and they, they like to stay in that direction. It's like a bicycle. It keeps you upright. It doesn't want to tip over. So when you, when you do force it to turn, it resists that change in direction, and it will push you like this. So we've got a, like, a wire right here between um, these two uh, posts. We charged up uh, a capacitor um, that's had some fancy oil in it. It's from the old radar lab. Yep. And uh, we've been charging it up uh, to three kilovolts. And when Joan here throws the switch, all that energy is going to be dumped through this tiny little wire. And uh, Right. 450 joules with that tiny little iron wire, and the iron wire will not like it. Okay, so can we get a countdown from three? That's right, okay. Let's help Joan out. Three, three, two, two one. <laughs> so you see how the rope is moving a lot in certain spots, but not moving in others? So that's actually the same thing that's happening here, only in two dimensions. You can change the frequency here, and we can get different patterns going. Just like with the rope, the faster you do it, you can get more waves going. We're talking about the sweet spot on a baseball bat. Um, basically, the center region between these two black marks is the center of percussion. And when Big Poppy's at the plate, he wants to hit the ball with the center of percussion, so the ball will go as far as it can. If he hits too short, it'll kink his wrists and he won't get all the power on it. If he hits too far, it'll throw his wrist in the other direction and he won't get all his power on it. Now we can show this by using a pencil. So, imagine the pencil is Big Poppy's hands. Big Poppy, and I understand he hasn't been doing this lately, but back in the day, Big Poppy used to hit here all the time. And we can, in theory, go all day long we go all day long, drop in the bat here, and the pencil will be fine. Okay, in fact, we get in tight, we have a look, there is almost no damage to the pencil. Okay? Now, if we go outside the sweet spot, okay, and we foul tip the ball, watch what happens to the pencil. Now, it's still intact, but if we zoom in, you can start to see the split form. Okay? If these, were, if these weren't such high quality pencils, it would break right through. Okay? But what's really cool about it being slightly high quality is now, even with the split, we can go back to the sweet spot and we can drop again, no problem. Okay? It takes so little pressure when you hit it on the sweet spot. But we go inside, and this is the great stuff, and we handcuff. Okay? Now, in baseball, usually this splits the bat, but. Uh, we don't have quite enough power for that, so the pencil goes. Okay.